Welcome to your wonderful Wednesday Shave of the Day! Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving, and welcome back. It's good to see you. If you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave and all things straight razor related, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. My one word is heart, and I put my heart into everything I do. And I believe every time you shave with a straight razor, you're going to get a better shave. Now, tonight, I'm using my Frederick Herter & Son. This is the number 49 Ace of Spades. That is bone with inlay, 15 16 blade, and it is a full hollow. Just an excellent razor. This is shave 54 on that ILR edge. Really good, so far holding up great. Now, for our soap tonight, here we go. We're going Taylor Vol Bond Street Grapefruit Shaving Cream. Oh yeah, this is good. It just has a marvelous grapefruit scent that is just amazing. Now for my brush tonight, here we go. We get that going. Yeah, the King Brush. Oh yeah, this is the Adventures in Wet Shaving King Brush. That is a premium bore knot. Just fantastic and really works good. Now I'm going to go ahead and get some water out of that brush. I have got that shaving cream pressed into this Crown King Travel Scuttle. This is the unbreakable one. So we're going to go ahead and get that brush loaded up. Oh yeah. Yeah. So hopefully you are well and in high spirits. Yep. Here we go. We're at the midweek shave, right? The wonderful Wednesday shave of the day. Hump day. Yep. Oh yeah. Good stuff. Now, hopefully, wherever you are, things are good and you're getting some good shaves. Yep. That would be brilliant. Let me get more water in there. There we go. Let's see if that'll kick this up a little bit. Oh yeah. Yeah, so yeah, now down in the comments, somebody had mentioned that uh, possibly we should start up another 30 straight razor shave challenge using only one straight razor. And uh, that will really help you if you're new and you are wanting to learn how to do the straight razor shaving thing. Really, after 30 shaves, you will be better. Mm-hmm. Yep. So now, uh, let me know. Let me know how you feel about it, and do you want to uh, be part of it? If you do, and there's enough people that lets me know, maybe we'll just start up something. You know, I, I did this uh, a while back, and uh, really helped a lot of people. So... If you're interested, just let me know. And uh, now last time I took the challenge with you using this very straight razor. Yeah. And uh, it was it was really good. It worked out quite nicely for me. And I still haven't had to hone that razor. All right. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. So. Let's go ahead and get that on. Yeah, now that scuttle doesn't have hot water in it or anything because it's a warm day here and I don't need more warm. Yep, so this is gonna be good. Now I normally don't build the lather in the bowl. Normally I face lather so we're gonna do a little bit of both, which will be fine. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, we got lather going everywhere. <laughs> ah, that is awesome. All right.
fantastic. What a marvelous scent this has. It really is grapefruit. Really serious grapefruit. And it's quite nice. It is. So this is pass one. And for me, primarily, that's going to be with the grain. Let's do this. Nice. Yeah, and this has got an ILR edge on it. Really smooth. Works really well for me, definitely. Stretching there just by the way I'm holding my chin. Nice, nice, nice. There we go. That is good. Oh yeah, really good. Now, get that mustache area. Nice. Now I'm switching hands and we're going to lay that razor. Let me find those first so we don't hit a bump. So I'm switched hands. We're going to lay that razor flat. Raise it a spine width off of my face to get that proper 20 to 30 degree shaving angle. Stretching with my off hand. Just trying to present the blade with a flat shaving surface. Very nice. There you go, pass one complete. And it felt good, it did. Now, let me get that rinsed off and let's see how we did. Nice, nice, very good. All right, now this is the half pass, all right? We are doing a one and a half pass shave tonight and it'll be fine. I'm gonna get a good shave and doing this, I can shave every day where if I do a two and a half pass shave, 
man, it, I can do that every couple of days. So this is good. It is. There we go. Now, for me, primarily, this is going to be across the grain here and here, and then right up through here, that's going to be against the grain. Let's do this. Looks like I may hit a little bump or something right there. Yeah, the secret with this shaving thing is you need to come in with that angle as flat as possible on that blade. And then you can raise it up to where it needs to be. And every time you shave, you need in different parts of your face, you need to regain that shaving angle. Yeah, I definitely hit something there. Oh well, it'll be fine. No big deal. There we go. No shave in the books. Yep. All right. Now, let's get that rinsed off. See how we did? Maybe even hit a little bump there. Yeah, it definitely looks like there's a little something going on there. All right. Next, we are going alum everywhere. This is astringent and antiseptic and it will take care of all those little spots that we hit yep no big deal yep works like a champ there we go now go ahead and I just normally pat that dry just like that now, if you can't take alum straight up, go with a cold water rinse and follow it with witch hazel. And I'm going to be using the Thayer's Lemon Witch Hazel. This stuff is so good. It really is. I enjoy this very much. This is so good for the skin as well. And I put it everywhere. I do. Yep. Now, for my aftershave cologne thing, here we go. We are going Osage Rub. Oh, yeah. This is menthol on steroids. Very nice. Yep. All right. Now, all I have to do is be really careful and not get it too close to my eyes. Or my eyes will water out. And I won't be able to see what I'm doing. Oh, that is good though. That feels good. Now we're going to follow that with Nivea Cooling Poche Balm. This stuff is marvelous and it's really good for the skin. Helps repair everything as well. Taking care of that skin after a good straight razor shave. Very important. Oh yeah, nice. Nice, nice, nice. And I'm even going to put that more or less everywhere. 
All right, there you go. Click up here to see my latest video. Click over here to see a video specially picked out for you. Click on this one to see how to start straight razor shaving. Have a great shave and a good day, and I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.